quality represents gay moms and gay dads. So we're wondering if you, you must have some gay moms and gay dads in your life. Oh yeah. yeah. What would you want America to know about them? They're just like everybody else. <laughs> I mean, I think that's really important. I think that's one of the things that this movie speaks to, is that you, you basically watch the beginning of this very intimate relationship and how it grows into a partnership and, and, right. um, and marriage. And, and they would have probably had kids had, had yeah, not had you know, history been different. They may have. I don't, I, you know what? I really don't know. That's an interesting thing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think it basically portrays it as any other marriage. It's an important thing for everybody to see. You must have some uh, gay moms and gay dads in your life. Uh, do you have any close friends? Yeah. Gay parents? Kelly right there, my Kelly, manager of course, and of producer course. on the movie. Right, yeah. right. So Kelly has a wife and two awesome kids. And yeah, a really beautiful family. Do you know anyone who's had challenges on that on that front, adopting or, or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to obviously get into their personal story, but I do know people and they they do actually live in L.A., but, you know, it's all fine now, but it was definitely... It can be challenging. It seemed like a, an unnecessary, unnecessary struggle for sure, yeah. Right. Yeah, but, you know, I how I always feel is the amount of, you know, the amount of work that has to go into it, or one parent having to adopt the other kid, or what have you, it's, sorry, to me it's always like, clearly, clearly, you know, they are ready for children. Do you know what I'm right, saying? if they're going to go that far. And it, it boggles my mind, because I've been making the show with Vice around the world, and one of the consistent things people have homophobic tendencies seem right. to say is they bring up, you know, the kid argument. It's painful and insufferable, particularly because I know, you know, gay families that are amazing, and, uh, uh, you know, I find it personally offensive because of, well, all of us are, if at one time I want to have a child or adopt a child right. or what have you, and it's, uh... Shouldn't be no one's business. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My eldest sister is, is gay, and she's married, and they've adopted two kids. They live wow. in uh, Denver, Colorado. How did the adoption process go for them? Because it's, it's, it can be tough for people. It was rough. I mean, these kids come from a very the messed up backgrounds. Kids. Yeah, they would have been stuck in the foster program, you know, probably had not my sister kind of rescued them. It's great. Did they ha encounter any problems as a gay couple trying to Yeah, it's good. You know, them? I mean, it probably wasn't entirely as easy as it would have been otherwise. I think like with a lot, like my home state, Kentucky. Oh, right. You know, Lexington and Louisville, the big cities, are very forward-thinking. It's the rest of the state that holds us back. You know, right. Kim Davis is out in the pool. <laughs>